Right, Forest fans, Max Noon here on Talk Forest TV. Hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Giving you a quick review of Nottingham Forest 2, Wolverhampton Wanderers 2. Uh, a result that uh, is disappointing and it feels a bit deflating. Um, I think it feels very much like when we played Wolverhampton uh, last year, about this stage of the season, where uh, it was a big game. We built it as a must win game. And uh, we scored first and letting a late equaliser and, um, you know, absolute elation after Danilo put us 2-1 ahead. It did so well to get back into the, get back into the game. Great header from Morgan Gibbs-White scoring from a corner. Uh, maybe that's what happens when you take Morgan Gibbs-White off corners. He can uh, win the ball in the box. Um, corners were good. Uh, Morgan Gibbs-White's corners were good as well. And, um, you know, and then uh, good, you know, good second half. Um, Great run by Morgan Gibbs-White. Um, I thought it was a good tackle on him in the box, but it fell to Danilo to put us two on the head. And it looked like that would be it because Wolves really, like Matt Sells didn't have any saves to make, I don't think. Certainly not in the second half. So, you know, they had bits of possession and they had some good runs and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it was Forest, Forest there for the taking. Forest win for the taking today. Um, great start from Forest. Um, tapered off a little bit then and then uh, Cunha with a, a, a brilliant goal to be fair but you know he shouldn't have really have got out from uh, being hemmed in on the touchline by uh, Omar Bamadele and um, I think it might be Yates um, so that, that was poor defending there um, got the goal just before half time which you know great time to get the goal thought we'd perhaps come out second half with a bit more oomph um, and it was a bit it was a bit flat start of the second half it was a bit bitty um but then got you know got into it started yeah making some good runs I think Callum Hudson Odoi was dangerous all game um but some poor decision making um and that seems to be what might be costing us um poor decision making when players could have could have taken a shot um Danilo earlier had one way he could have shot and passed it out um, or not getting the cross in early, but I guess I get why they're not getting the cross in early because you look at who's in the box and we don't have many players in the box uh, when Callum Hudson Odoi or Nico Williams um, is out wide. So you know we, it, yeah, we need to, we need to get more players in the box to take advantage of corners and uh, take advantage of uh, crosses rather. Um, I thought Rayner looks it looks sort of all right, but he drifted in in field too much for me um so the only attacking outlet down the right hand side was nico williams you know nobody out with him um yeah i think we, it was really evident that he was in the middle of the park when he could have been out wide um and there was one one cross in the first half where i think rayner should be back post coming in that's where you'd expect lango and a white white winger to be but he was all the way over on the left so I, I thought it was a bit disappointing. I thought tactically it didn't didn't quite work with with Rayner. Um, Origi got out to the line, touch line, um, had a fantastic chance. I mean, just what is he thinking? He did well to get the run on goal, um, hearing down on goal, just the keeper to beat, um, almost identical to a chance he had against Palace, and inexplicably tried to pass it to Chris Wood, and inexplicably hammered it right past him and gave Chris Wood no chance whatsoever. Um, yeah, shocking, shocking decision making, shocking execution. And um, yeah, not doing himself any favours. Um, it's interesting seeing Morgan Gibbs-White gesturing to the Trenton crowd to sort of, you know, try and lift him because, you know, it's, it's probably doing his head in. Um, great to see Morgan Gibbs-White get a goal. Um, Murillo was given man of the match. I think Danilo was probably man of the match for me. Uh, but Murillo made that incredible goal line clearance, which again was from another mistake. Um, so we did well not to get punished by that mistake, but absolutely incredible goal line clearance. Um, so I can see why they gave it Murillo and you know pretty good throughout. But you know once again not able to defend corners and um, punished for it. So it feels like a defeat. But I think we have to remember it's not actually a defeat, it's a draw. And we've picked up a point. And so we've moved a point away from Luton, point closer to Everton. Um, you know, Luton took a hammering, so we're effectively two points ahead of Luton now. Um Murich doing us a favour at Burnley, 
and Sheffield United doing what Sheffield United do away at Brentford. So, you know, we go into Everton game. Um, you know, we're scoring goals. So we're back to scoring goals, which is which is a good thing because we went through a period where we couldn't score goals and teams were beating us 1-0. Um, so we're scoring goals. I hope Alanga's fit. Um, and I don't know if uh, if Bolly is fit. Maybe Bolly or Nikate need to come in because Everton are just going to be swinging in crosses and corners and they've got some big, beastly players that will bully our rather callow defence, unfortunately. Um, but another point accumulate points cheese and onion cobs cheese and onion cobs cheese and beetroot cobs what idiot eats cheese and onion cobs cheese and beetroot cobs superb from mrs newton uh george newton six-year-old george my brother's boy had his first uh forest game and uh in the premier league and finley came to the game as well so yeah come on you reds let's do this